Hey guys, welcome to Dylan's Little Hobbies, and today is the day, today is the day, you're going to want to mark this day as the best, most amazing day in Star Wars history. In fact, you're going to want to mark this day as a memory day to tell your grandkids about it hundreds and hundreds of years later. This is a day that will go down in absolute history forever, the most amazing day of Star Wars ever. And what is the day? Today is the day that the Star Wars... Han Solo film gets a title. What is the title of the Han Solo anthology film? It's Solo. A Star Wars story. <laughs> okay, what? Are people really going to get that excited for this movie because we now have the title of it? Guys, we had the title of this movie from the beginning anyway. Han Solo movie. Okay, now it's the Solo movie. Just, we didn't put Han in, in the middle of it. Okay, fine. What what else were you going to call this movie? What else could you call the Han Solo anthology film except Solo? I, I swear, this the title of this movie doesn't make me more excited for this movie at all. In fact, it's just a title. However, I will say this. It's a good thing that they released this because of all of the hype that... Episode 8 has gotten me. Uh, I'm very hyped up for Episode 8 right now. And I completely forgot that they were even making the Han Solo film at all. So I really am happy that they released this news reminding me that they are going to be making that movie. Or at least that they made it and it's going to be coming out quite soon. <sighs> you know... In other videos, I talked about my feelings towards the movie, and I'm pretty much going to rehash everything I aimed from those other videos right now. So let's again talk about the title of the movie, Solo. What else were you going to call this movie? It doesn't make me any more excited for the movie, it just reminded me that this movie is coming out. Okay, let's talk about the movie itself. When it comes to the Han Solo movie, it's going to be an origin story. And here's the thing about that. When it comes to an origin story, throw that in a novel. I will read it, I will love it, but I don't need to see that on the big screen. The, so the uh, anthology film movies, like the Han Solo movie, the only thing I want from the anthology movies is I want them to be able to expand the lore of Star Wars. That's what, uh, that's what Rogue One was able to do for me, and that's what I want from other anthology movies as well. I don't need an origin story for every character in Star Wars. I need more lore expanding, especially because it seems like Star Wars with canon now seems to be shrinking a little bit. It would be very nice if they expanded the lore of Star Wars. And the number one thing that I want them to expand on, especially in a Han Solo movie, is bounty hunter lore. You know, we don't really have a lot on bounty hunter lore when it comes to Star Wars. And that's the thing, guys. I really want to see a lot of lore when it comes to the Han Solo movie about bounty hunters. In fact, I would rather have them make a movie just about bounty hunters. You know, you can throw Han Solo in there. You can throw uh, Boba Fett. I don't want a Boba Fett movie. I don't want a Jabba the Hutt movie. I don't want a Han Solo movie. I want a bounty hunter movie with bounty hunter lore with, of course, our favorite bounty hunters. You know what? I would love to see a movie about Cad Bane. Cad Bane is, you know what, even if they call it Cad Bane, it could be an origin story of Cad Bane. Guess what? I don't care. I, as long as it would expand the lore of the bounty hunters. And that's what I'm really hoping that this movie is going to do. That's what I'm excited about. I am definitely certain that Maz Kanata is going to be in this movie. I don't know about you, but it just makes sense that Maz Kanata is going to be in this movie. Nonetheless, though, I'm, I'm excited for this movie. Maybe not as excited as other people are, uh, just because I really look at this and go, 
does this movie really need to be made? And which it really doesn't. Uh, throw throw that throw uh, throw that into a book, guys. I swear, the origin thing throw into a book. I'm going to see this movie. I'm going to love it. I'm going to be inside and happy that they did it that way. But at the same time, I am still always going to think that this that the anthology movies need to expand the lore of Star Wars and not expand the origin story of one measly character in the entire Star Wars galaxy. Not that Han Solo is a measly character. I mean, for God's sakes, Han Solo, that's a big title. You know, I mean, Han Solo is a beloved Star Wars character and part of the original three crew, so... Uh, you know, it's going to be a very good movie. I have no doubt about that, but I really am not too excited for this movie. Now let's just talk about the notes that Darth Vader should be in this movie. Guys, a Star Wars anthology film, when it comes to canon they've been using Darth Vader right, Darth Vader needs to be used sparingly because he needs to be a frightening and terrifying character whenever he's on screen. And I don't need Darth Vader to be in the movie. Look, you mention Darth Vader, that's perfectly fine. But remember, in when it comes to the Legends continuity, at least, Darth Vader used to be sort of the boogeyman, you know? Not everybody even knew that Darth Vader existed, and those that did probably never met him. And those that did met him were terrified of him. And that's why I want in canon as well. If you put Darth Vader in every single shot, in every single movie, like, I, I get, I, I understand you mentioning Vader, okay? That, that's awesome. In any movie, in any Star Wars continuity, can mention Vader and ha have it come off as a terrifying character. Perfect. But we don't need to actually see him. We don't need a cameo of him in every movie. What is Darth Vader going to do in Star Wars? Uh, or Star Wars, a Han Solo film. What is Han Solo going to do against Darth Vader? The only thing, what, what are they going to do? Han Solo runs past the hallway and suddenly bumps into Darth Vader? What? Guys, I don't want Vader in this movie at all. If he is, I'm pretty sure they're going to use him in a very cool way, but I don't need Vader in this movie. I don't want Vader in this movie. I want this movie to be a bounty hunter movie. Now, it makes perfect sense that the Empire is there, of course. Let's look at the times. You know, I don't care if they're... Uh, being up a couple bucket heads. I don't care if uh, they're laughing at stormtroopers' bad aim. I don't care if there's a starfire there, okay? I, I simply don't care if the Empire's there because it makes perfect sense. But it doesn't make sense. I don't see how Vader could play any role in this movie other than being mentioned. Like somebody could say, Oh, hey, have you he heard the tales of Vader? Uh, a, a, a giant mechanical machine monster that destroys everything. I'm okay if they do something like that, but we don't need to see him on screen. Anyway, that is everything that I can talk about the Han Solo movie. There's nothing else to talk about here. I can't wait to see the movie. I am more excited for Episode 8 than the Han Solo movie. I'm more excited for Episode 9 than the Han Solo movie. Uh, I know they're going to be doing an Obi-Wan movie. I can't wait to see that, but I don't want to see an Obi-Wan origin story either, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm out. Let me know down in the comments down below what you think of the Han Solo movie. What, what are you excited about? What you want to see from the Han Solo movie? If you agree with me that the Han Solo movie shouldn't be an origin story, should be a bounty hunter lore uh, expanding story. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm out. Bye.